So, everyone, we are back for another round of Dirty Debunks. It's gonna be me and Paz looking over Happy's Hinata versus Sakura video. This is for adult Sakura versus Hinata from the last, as he says, right? Or as is shown. This is something very interesting. Uh, I may or may not have these DMs on screen. Originally, I was going to debate Happy on this topic. Happy refused to debate me on this topic, even though saying in these videos that he's willing to debate anyone on this topic, which is very, very interesting. He said it takes hours of debunking claims in order to um, in order to prove why uh sakura wouldn't win right so uh, i went into happy server i called him out his or the server positive where he likes to be i called him out people dm'd him people messaged him no response right i'm joined with my friend six pass yes i don't dislike happy i what? watched happy debate noodles i watched happy debate arrow spencer from those debates, I didn't like Hoppy. Then I heard Hoppy talk to Seth, and it made me realize that Hoppy, aside from if I think he's a good power skill or not, can actually have a normal conversation. He's a normal person. I don't dislike Hoppy, but I don't think he's necessarily good at power scaling. I, I, I have no before. personal quarrel with Hoppy. I believe that Hoppy, like, uh, the, my only issues with Hoppy are one, his blatant lack of knowledge on the manga, right? Two, um, yeah, I think he can be deceptive or misleading. And I, I do want to discuss that here at the beginning of this video because me and Happy had a debate. Um, Infamous was our judge. And I, I agreed to Infamous being our judge, not knowing the significant relationship between Infamous and Happy. And it was judged that uh, I lost that debate. The verdict was given to me three weeks after the debate. And I was given no proper judgment. Infamous didn't give me a reason as to why I lost. He simply said that I lost. And that he would not be reviewing the recording in any way, shape, or form in order to tell me why I lost. So, happy? Seth is willing to judge this debate. But uh, if you choose to respond to this, uh, I know you probably won't. Six, are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, let's start part one. Six Path Chakra Hinata? Versus the current Sakura. Okay. Four, four seconds mystery. in. Me and Six reviewed Naruto the Last in preparation for this. In the movie rendition of Naruto the Last, which would be the canon rendition to both the anime and manga of the Naruto franchise, the anime and manga canon of Naruto franchise, we will be using the manga canon because the anime canon is contradictory in some portions. Hinata never gets chakra from Hamura. Not once. We watched the entire movie, and we don't know if it's some weird, like, uh, what what is it called? Mandela effect? Hinata yeah, Mandela does not effect. receive any chakra from any other person throughout the entirety of the movie. Yeah, it, it maybe because, like, her chakra is purple in this movie, and she had an interaction with Hammer, and it was, like, blue before. Well, we don't even know if that was an interaction with Hammer, right? There's well, just, no, we see Hammer. Yeah, we she sees Hammer. We don't know if there was an interaction between the two of them. That's what but I like, meant. What chakra put her under that weird Genjutsu, right? No, but, I was talking about she hasn't. When I said she had an interaction with him, that's what I was talking about. Okay. That she, they, they talked or whatever. Anyways, and that her chakra is purple here, where it was blue before that she got they, the chakra, but it's never ever said or shown. We, we should address the. That Chakra coloring is very weird throughout the entirety of this movie. Yeah, Naruto's Ross and Shurikens are orange in this movie. And, and his base for Sengon as well. So yeah, she, she doesn't have six bus. But we'll, we'll go over that at every point in time where Happy says it. So, Naruto and Sasuke jump from multi-continental to moon level when they receive chakra from Hagoromo. This is cross-verse scaling, right? They, they go from X point to Y point. I would like to say that this is misleading due to the fact... That what Naruto gets is not an amplifier, but rather a multiplier, right? Paz may disagree with this. Sage mode is, and the curse mark, is stated to give you sage chakra, or, or senjutsu energy, right? Adding it to your chakra pool. These are stated to be mixed in equal quantities by Paul. If that is to be the case, then sage mode must be a multiplier. All sage modes. So Naruto six pass sage form, right? While he would have gotten, he you can say he got chakra, he also got a multiplier. So, saying that Naruto and Sasuke's amp would be equivalent to anyone else would be misleading due to the fact that Naruto would receive a multiplier instead of a statistics amp. So 
Sasuke also gets a new dojutsu, the Renegon. Obviously a huge imp. Mm-hmm. Considering Sasuke doesn't wield nature energy, but then contends with the Naruto who does. It also can um, sense nature energy. He says that he sees Kuruma building it while in their fight in the final battle. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. So that jump is a hundred thousand times multiplier. Why? Because multi-continental sure. low end is ten to the power of twenty-five, and moon level is ten to the power of thirty. So that's an additional five zeros, yeah. So a hundred thousand multiplier. Sure. And we know that Hinata was just a little bit of Naruto's six path chakra was. A- this is not a six path chakra. chakra. This is QB chakra. That is QB chakra, and an important thing to note about the ten tails when Obito and Mato are on top of it, they can lower or higher the ten tails power whenever they so choose to. So this feat is completely unquantifiable. Absolutely unquantifiable. And it, and it has zero scaling Hinata. We also don't know... Um, the, there are many specifics about QB Chakra that we don't know, such as the... Paz may disagree with this for debates, but there's there's not only amounts of Chakra that you can get, but also potencies of Chakra, right? So, or I, I am of the belief of this, right? And so there is the idea that not only could Hinata just be getting more Chakra... But she could be getting more potent chakra that would give more potent attacks given the same amount of chakra, right? There are like powers of chakra, even even within the idea of like amounts. So let's continue. Yeah, I disagree with that. But... Pentail's hand. So if we consider the amount that was given to her in the last film, which there is no amount given, given, to, given her. to her. No amount. None. There's also no way to say that this amp would even be comparable to the one uh, Sasuke and Naruto got, like Spencer went over earlier. Yeah, not only would that um, be a multiplier for them, but we also don't know if... We'll, we'll, we'll get into that, because he makes claims about, like, um, Hammer having six-pass chakra. She should also okay. have a buff equal to Naruto and Sasuke, and we know that six-pass chakra does not leave. So she- He says six-pass chakra does not leave the leave the user. Kakashi directly contends this idea. He says that what he got from Obito was in fact six past chakra, and yet we see it leave Kakashi's body, as with the doju. She still has this chakra, meaning that let's say if she's only um, small city level from that ten tails feet. Uh, Don't know why you would arbitrarily assign the ten tails as small city level. The ten tails cataclysm <laughs> alone is calc to continental. She gets a, a hundred thousand times multiplier, so five zeros added to her her energy. Meaning she's small country level, minimum. This is a low ball. And her speed would jump from massively hypersonic to around relative like Naruto did. Whereas Sakura is only mountain level and massively hypersonic. Uh, um, here's two statements of Sakura being stated equivalent to Six Paz Naruto and Sasuke. And we'll get into Sakura's speed at a later point in time. That's part one, right? Uh, almost nothing he said was right. Let's go into part two. So it was stated that Sakura caught up and then immediately Naruto and Sasuke got a Okay, let, let's look at the what he's responding to. What about the data book 4 scan that said Kishimoto said Sakura caught up with KCM2 Naruto and Sasuke pre Hago Am? This is not what the data book says. Not yes, only does this data book say it, there, but also she says statements. she caught up with EMS Sasuke and mastered KCM1 Naruto. Right? Yeah, KCM2 the is, great, is greatly above EMS Sasuke and also should be above, or you could argue is above that Sakura. I think he's talking about like pre Neji Am KCM2. Since she's like to KCM one, regardless, this comment is wrong. But yes. this stated three different times that Sakura is relative to these two. It's one when she catches up to them that everyone likes to meme. Two, two. when she punches Kaguya. That's in data book four. Three, and then three whenever she's running at Madara. Yeah, that's stated it, in the last data book. Retsuna show. Yes, we had those on screen earlier, or should have. Stated that Sakura caught up, and then immediately Naruto and Sasuke got a power amp. Yes, that is true. Naruto and Sasuke get amps after Sakura caught up. Sakura never so got Sakura. one of these power amps. Yeah, okay. You can get resolved amps any point in Naruto. You can she get... doesn't get one handed to her. She doesn't get one handed to her. No, nobody like gives her chakra. No, she just she just gets resolved. She grows stronger. And even when she got her 100 healings, in the novels, she still only managed to perform mountain level feats he never displays as to what he's talking about here i assume he's talking about the keto feat or the kaido fight as someone who has read love riding in the spring breeze which is sakura shinden this fight has a huge asterisk on it that asterisk is sakura is injected with a chakra or not chakra reducing but a drug that interferes with her ability to mold her own chakra 
She's injected with it. And then it takes her the entirety of a conversation with two individuals where she purposefully draws out said conversation to mold enough chakra to do one punch. To break regular chains. That She then proceeds to fight someone who is been given a they describe it as something beyond v2 nine tails amp right they say that it's several orders of magnitude stronger and faster than they were previously those statements will be on screen so let's continue that's what he means by mountain level feats it, it's also should be known that um whenever looking at people with v1 two tails cloaks kaido believes that he can take on current kakashi this kakashi can't be scaled but this person is, um, let's say he's no joke, right? Have you read the soccer novel, Paz? In its entirety. Okay. And she couldn't dodge lightning. So for those of you who don't know, if you can't dodge lightning, that means you're massively hypersonic. So, okay. I want to tackle this, right? It is stated in this novel that Sakura cannot dodge a jutsu used by Kaido called um, lightning style bear trap, right? There is a reason for this. Whenever Kaido uses lightning style bear trap in base, Sakura is in mid-air and says that she cannot dodge it. And yet, she catches the attack before it can hit her, right? So, fine. Um, let me read exactly what the passage says. Lightning style bear trap. The circle of the electric teeth came snapping at Sakura. In an instant, she determined that she wouldn't be able to stop it. She realized that the jutsu, now enhanced by the drug, was several orders of magnitude faster and more destructive than when she had seen it before. Unable to retreat or avoid the attack, Sakura leapt forward and slipped through the circle of lightning to dodge the bear trap. The sharp snap behind her told her the trap had closed. Sakura directly dodges this at a point where it's several orders of magnitude faster and stronger. Paz, would you like to tell the audience what an order of magnitude is? No. <laughs> an order of magnitude is an order of 10. So one order of magnitude would be times 10. Two orders of magnitude would be times 100. Three orders of magnitude would be times 1,000. All right? Paz, what do you what do you think of when you think of the word several? How many do you think of? Four. Three okay. to four. Four. The, the definition of several is more than a few. Right? A few would be three. As a couple would be two. So, four. Four orders of magnitude would be 10,000 times. Paz, do you know what's 3,000 times faster than lightning? Light? Light is 3,000 times faster than lightning. So, <laughs> how fast would you have to be if you're 10,000 times faster than lightning? Just give me a rough estimate. Uh, Around four. three Between three and four three or four times faster than light interesting interesting all right i'll have those posted up on screen while me and paz do that little skit all right <laughs> let's hear what happy has to say in the other novels you'll see all these fake counts claiming that she's massively faster than light don't know what he's talking about he's talking about nairobi's calc from the po polar particles oh, whatever i'm more than happy to debate anyone on those fake counts so you don't get tell me in the comments that she's massively faster than light. That's just full of crap. Whereas Hinata, canonically, she actually received chakra in the same manner that Naruto and Sasuke did from Hagoromo, but she received it instead from Hagoromo's equal brother, Hamura. Amazing. No way to say that they're equal. Everything you just no said to say was false. <laughs> <laughs> so you're let's you're break that down. Nerd. Canonically, she did not receive any chakra. It was not in the same manner, even if you did say she received Chakra, it was not in the same manner as Naruto and Sasuke. She would have received it via a Genjutsu dream, right? And then he goes on to say that Hamura is equal to Hagoroma, right? First of all, he could not prove, no matter what, that she got an equal amount of Chakra. Even if we steel man the idea that she did in fact receive the uh, Chakra from Hagoromo, who is equal to Hammer, right? Which none of that's true. But if we do say that that's the case, he can't prove that the amount or potency of the chakra is equal. And then he goes on to say that Hammer is equal to Hagoromo? Paz, do, do you have anything to say about that? Hammer equal to Hagoromo? Yeah. Um, 
there's no basis for it. Just completely unfounded. Uh, in fact, you if struggle you, to prove it. If you go to the anime arc in which Hamura and Hagoromo, the the anime arc, you can say whether it's canon to the manga or not. It being canon to the manga would be contradictory to some other things. But let's say as though we're taking it as canon, right? In that arc, base, sage, or uh, let me say, three Tomoe, sage, Hagoromo, in Taijutsu alone, is equivalent to a Genjutsu-controlled Hamura. In fact, he's holding back as to not harm this Hamura. Paz, do you have any idea what happens to Hamura whenever Hagoromo decides to use ninjutsu? I actually haven't seen that arc. He gets gutted. He gets a Chidori through the chest. He gets killed. And then you know what happens whenever Hagoromo kills Does he actually use Chidori? It, it's basically the Chidori. Okay. You know what happens whenever Hagoromo kills his brother? What? He unlocks oh, he the Medgeko Sharingan and Rinnegan at the same time. Oh, and grows God. even stronger. Yeah, and so then Hagoromo, the two of them Hamura, go on to fight Kaguya. The only time that you can scale Hamura to Hagoromo is whenever it's stated that pre-Sage Mode training, Hamura is stronger than Hagoromo. That's all you've got. I think we've pretty well established that there's no Hamura scaling. But Also, yeah. is, is it even confirmed that Hamura had the Tensei gone? Like the Dojutsu? Not the artifact? Yeah, but I think Toneri somewhat uh, implies it. it in the last. Okay. I forget his exact wording, but yeah, I think he does. By the way, we know it's that just because you have the same type of Jogon doesn't mean that it would have the same properties or strength is another with the same Dojutsu. I meant to say Dojutsu, not Jogon, but... Okay, I think we can move I mean, on from that. In reality, Hoppy's entire stance is no longer valid. Yes. Um, But we'll keep going. He does say some more wrong things, and maybe Hoppy's watching... And he also wants to learn, so... Okay, let's continue. And so, Hamura gave her a chakra. Wrong. Sage of Six Path Chakra. Okay. There are two... There, there's a distinction that needs to be made here. Six Path Chakra and Sage of Six Path Chakra are not the same thing. Six Path Chakra is basically... It's Jubi Chakra, right? It's Otsutsuki Chakra. That's what Six Path Chakra is. Whenever you combine Indra and Ashra Chakra, you get Six Pass Chakra. Or you get Sage of Six Pass Chakra, which is different. Sage of Six Pass Chakra is the is Hagoromo Chakra, basically, right? These are not the same thing. The Otsutsuki have chakra similar to each other, right? It's stated Toneri has chakra similar to that of Kaguya on the box set of the last, right? But small rant. People conflate those two things and they're not one and the same. So she should have the same buff, the same boost. And if no, she was equal she to not. Sakura then, imagine her now. Okay. He presupposes that War Arc Sakura, or War Arc Hinata is equivalent to War Arc Sakura in this statement, which is incorrect. But that's part one. Well, that's part two. Let's move on to part three. Didn't Sakura dodge Kage's arms who even Naruto and Sasuke had trouble with? This depends on your rendition. If you are looking at the manga... It seems as though Sakura was just being chased by the arm and it caught up with her. In the anime, she dodges an arm and then gets tracked down by another one. But let's see what Happy has to say. Let's scale to these hands because alone she was not able to survive them. Sure. What? He says she can't scale to the hands because she wouldn't have. She would have died on her own. I mean, sure. Sure. Poppy also was... doesn't take into account the fact that the first time Sakura reacts to these hands, she reacts from a very far distance. She's got much more distance than Naruto and Sasuke do. Uh huh. Also, they're also like in the air. So, also, if I really want to be a dick, right? Because he's equating like chakra amount to like strength throughout this entire video. It, it's stated or it's implied by Obito that Sakura's Byakugo chakra is like greater than a Naruto clone. And a Naruto clone gets them out of the way of one of these hands, both Naruto yeah. and Sasuke. He doesn't imply it at all, by the way. He just says it. He's like, yeah, like your clone won't be enough, but the Byakugo would. The Byaku you can interpret that as the Byakugo and the clone or the Byakugo on its own. It doesn't matter because we know that in the end, the Byakugo was enough on its own. But 
Anyways. Successfully able to survive the hands, and so was Sasuke, without any help. That's not true. They had help from a clone. They actually get thrown out of the way by a clone. They're also in the air, though, by the way, Hoppy, so... Yeah. Naruto was using clones as a test to see how much damage that they would inflict on him. That's not the case. That's not true That's at all. That's completely unfounded. There is no way that you could ever prove Naruto was thinking ahead to such extent where he was using these clones in order to test the likelihood that he would be damaged by one of these attacks. These are clones that were, like, there one already. Shot. Yeah, yeah. These these clones are also can get one shot by attacks that Naruto can tank. I don't know why Naruto... Even if we assume that Happy is correct, right? And we follow this line of logic, it still doesn't follow. Because we know that the clone, the durability of Naruto's clones is nothing in comparison to his own. Once he discovered that it's a one shot and would kill him, he then warns... He wouldn't know that. Never mind. Sakura. You can rewatch the scene and he says, Sasuke, use visual prowess to save Sakura. But Sasuke didn't make it in time. DMS Kakashi did, saving her from this hand. Look how close it is to touching her. Oh, it's a one shot. No. So, so no, she doesn't... It's a one shot? How does he... He, he never explains why this is a one shot. It one shots the clone. It one shots the clone. That attack, yeah. that attack is somewhat like durability negation. Yeah. It touches the clone and it just gets like absorbed. Yeah, I, I believe that it's just absorbing shocker. But... Yeah, that, that also makes sense. Because Zetsu describes it... Her, if, to my recollection, this may be incorrect... Zetsu describes it as like Kaguya trying to take her chakra back, but... ...doesn't scale to the hands. If anything, Hinata being able to push away the hands is a much more impressive feat. Okay. He now conflates the jewelry with the rabbit hands. goddess Kaguya. Yeah. Um, um, Naruto, in his basics past sage mode form, able to bully Madara, who should be much stronger than this Jubi. Kaguya beats up the clones, so the two hands don't scale to one another whatsoever. Now, people are claiming that Hamura never had six parts senjutsu. I'm going to let him... I'm just going to let him go on this. And then I'm going to say why I disagree with this. Well, here you go. Hagoromo and Hamura could use six parts Chibaku Tensei because together they created the moon, right? And <clears throat> this ability can be used by individuals who awaken six parts senjutsu. That does not say that the ability can, can only, only be used, used by okay, individuals who awaken six <laughs> parts I'm glad senjutsu. we're on the same page on that one. So yes, Hamura did have... Six parts senjutsu. That's why Hinata's fist went from blue to purple. No, it, it's because the people who colored the last like flashy colors. Part four? So we know that Hamada's chakra flowed within Hinata. Okay, I would like to discuss this. This is directly stated. It is directly stated that Hamada's yeah, blood right. and or chakra flows through Hinata. What is being talked about is Hinata is of the bloodline of Hamada. And therefore, his chakra flows through her. He was in yeah. he in no way gave her any chakra, right? This is why I wish I had the recording of me and Happy's in initial encounter, because he goes on to the Tensegon point, right? Um, but le let him let's let him continue. That throughout the entire fight, Tonetti kept on draining her of her chakra, so she was like literally chakraless. This is completely that unfounded is... and unevidenced yeah. in any way, shape, or form. Th this specific claim was one of two claims that made me and Paz watch the entire movie. We watched the entire movie beginning to end in sub. We dissected this movie. This is never shown to be the case. In fact, here's a scan of Toneri actually draining chakra. The only time it's stated he's draining chakra. The only chakra that is coming to Toneri is Naruto's chakra. Yeah, he, he drains chakra, or, sorry, someone's gonna be nitpicky about this. He drains energy from the sun as well. Yes, but that's after he's already lost the Tensei gone, and then, like, fuses with eyeballs. It's weird. And so was Naruto. But because of how much- I wish, I wish so badly his head wasn't in the way when he says this, because you can, but like, directly see that it's only Naruto's chakra that's getting sucked. Hamura's chakra flows within me too. Yeah, she's talking about the bloodline. This would be the equivalent of Naruto saying, the sage of six paths chakra flows through me. Yes, he's technically not incorrect. Plus of Hamura's chakra, they were able to just with a little bit of chakra defeat Tonedi eventually. What? He says that with a little bit of chakra, they defeat Toneri. This is what happens. Naruto has a specific attack called Kuruma Arm Attack. 
This is an attack where he is essentially condenses the Kuruma cloak into one he's fist and punches person, someone with it. Huh? He's not talking about that. Yeah, he but says, he's I, I want to explain. I want to explain what attack he beat Toneri with. But that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about that when they beat Toneri after he absorbed all those Tensei gone. And he got yeah, energy from the sun. Or the moon was on a course to destroy the what? earth okay, and crash okay. into it. And Hinata feared that the moon would also be destroyed and they were on it, so they would die too. However, Toneri explains that the castle is protected by a strong chakra, which comes from the Tensei gun. This is the Tensei gun, i.e. Otsutsuki treasure. Not, not Tensei gun chakra mode, right? Okay. Yeah. Now, Hamura specifically explained that only Hinata can destroy the Tensei gun. So if this thing was able to protect them from a planet, uh, okay, it's been calped that it takes large planetary force to hurl the moon at the planet with such speed that the planet would be destroyed. The issue is, one, the force that would be output onto the moon by being hurled into the planet is unknown. So the chakra doesn't have to be large planetary as well. It has planet level durability. How is it that Hinata was the only one able to destroy it? Hinata, I have happy, I wish I ever had the recording, happy in a call on recording admitted Hinata cannot do this. In fact, she directly tries with all of the power she can manage using twin lion fists and she cannot do anything to the Otsutsuki treasure. It is only whenever Naruto says, okay, let, let, let me help with the force of my Rasengan and they work in conjunction with each other that they are able to do anything. This is incredibly misleading, and I am incredibly disappointed in you, Happy. This is not a feat for Hinata in any way, shape, or form. Not to mention, she was pretty much completely drained at this point because Toneri up until then was constantly draining everyone and everything of their chakra. That has absolutely no basis for it. None. There is no way to say Toneri was doing that. We, we could not have watched the same movie that he... Absolutely not. Also, I would like to make clear, for those who will try to defend Happy, saying, Oh, well, this may be true of the movie novelization. The movie novelizations and the movies are not one and the same. They are not the same continuity. They directly contradict each other. At least this is the case... He's also the using the movie, movie skins. Happy is also using movie skins. So. He is. To evidence these claims. Okay. So to say that she had no fates with these fists is wrong. She literally busted a planet, in other words. She didn't Please do shit. Please go to the next part. Please she go to the next shit. part. Part five. So in the last film, Naruto was knocked unconscious for three days. It uh, he, he's, he starts to downplay Sakura here. Yeah. Took Sakura. Every this, ounce this, of I actually Sakura. somewhat agree with Hoppy here. He not a, he not has got a better feat than Sakura. Healing feet? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It, it's completely fine. Okay. This is completely fine, but I'll also give a counter argument. It is completely fine that Hinata has a greater chakra supply than Sakura. This just means Sakura has better chakra control, and that's why she's able to perform relative or greater feats in the same time period. Okay? It's not relative or greater feats. Well, the, the defeats that I displayed from the Kaido novel would be greater. Oh, I thought you were talking about the healing thing. No. Sakura, okay, I, I'd actually like to, like, I have. I also have my counter argument. There is evidence to say that what was taken out of Naruto was not only, like, or was or was not his chakra, but rather the chakra of the QB itself, right? Or a great portion of it. Uh, I believe this is the case, or could be the case, because, as you can see on screen, whenever we do actually see the chakra being extracted from Naruto, not only is it extracted from his stomach, the place where we've seen the QB reside... Throughout extracted the end, from all around him. That's it, at the end of the movie. This is yeah. where Toneri punches him through the stomach. Oh, you're talking about that time. Yes. This is what Sakura heals him from, right? So, yeah. Toneri sends this orb through his stomach, and the chakra that comes out is... While this movie decides to make all of Naruto's chakra orange, it does have a light and dark component to it. So therefore, I think this is actually the QB's chakra. Which would mean that, like, Naruto... Uh, and also, Naruto's letting the QB chakra, or a large portion of it, go astray while he's fighting Toneri. So I, I believe that, like, 
these two healing feats really can't be compared. Because we have the additional factor of Naruto being in great pain or in a disadvantageous state due to losing a large amount of the QB chakra. Not to mention that we, like, don't see Sakura using 100 healings whenever she's healing Naruto. Possibly because there wasn't any damage, but this would also be chakra that's accessible to her. So, she's just replenishing her normal supply the good old-fashioned way. Sleep. Paz, do you have any issue with that idea? Yeah, I think the feats are both pretty comparable. They're both like Naruto having an amount of chakra taken out of him to where he can't stand anymore. And Hinata just gets it done much quicker. Even, okay, and, and the best part is, even if you say Hinata's feet is infinitely better than Sakura's, that would have no bearing on their AP speed or durability whatsoever. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. If Hinata can, like, output that amount of chakra, like, that much faster than Sakura can... I'm playing the video, you idiot. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. Like, that, that's a feat. That's a like, that's a hella underrated feat. And three days of healing to revive him and make him from unconscious to conscious again. So later again, when Naruto once again was drained by Toneri, he went from sage mode to base with a touch of S QB sage mode to base. Man, just making this worse for yourself, huh? Hina's hand and <laughs> of his chakra that flowed through her. <laughs> She was able to instantly revive him and soon after he was back in sage mode. Naruto may or no, he does not recall the QB avatar. No. It's after if you look at these two, this is right after she revived him. I've looked at this. He tries to make the point that, oh my gosh, they're like perfectly in health. Hinata had like had her hair pulled. Naruto literally hasn't been touched. At this point in the Toneri fight, Naruto has not been hit one time. I think maybe with the laser, but that was it. Naruto was perfectly fine. He didn't have any he didn't have any wear or tear before this point either, so this is a non point. They look unfazed. Neither of them look drained. Compare this to Sakura, she's literally like dying as a consequence of using all of her chakra to try and revive Naruto. So in answering the question where people asked how much chakra did Hamura give Hinata? Well none. the answer is none. <laughs> okay, next part. So let's go over some of Sakura's best feats. Her best feat was destroying a mountain. No, her uh, best feat is knocking Kagi the fuck out. What the hell is this? This isn't even a mountain. This isn't a mountain either. He is spitting. Giving her a mountain of APDC. Hashirama. He just like arbitrarily decides, uh, like assigns it to be a mountain, therefore mountain level APDC. I might even said that Sakura might be even greater than Tsunade. Ashirama's statement there is fucking retarded. He hasn't seen Tsunade since she was five. <laughs> Literally. I was thinking that same thing. Okay. But also, he wasn't even alive for adult uh, Tsunade, so he doesn't have a good gauge of how strong Tsunade has become. He, he acknowledges that Hashirama is uneducated, but doesn't acknowledge the amount to which. Hashirama is literally like, the only knowledge he has on adult Tsunade is... He's the Hokage. Tsunade is the Hokage. That's it. So, what is Hashirama really saying here? What monster strength? It might be even greater than the Hokages. Fuck off. He just remembers her as his grandchild. Here, it says that four years ago, she swore to break up with her weakness and become strong and aspire to become Tsunade. And in the next panel, it states that... Is that even the same data book? No, that's a completely different data book. Wait, no, no, that might be the same. I I think that's data... I think that's data book five. There is no data book five. The data book for the last. I don't think so. That four years ago thing, they do that in data book four. And not in any other one, to but my But this looks very knowledge. official. Which is why I don't think it's data book four. A lot of the, the fan-translated data book four scans do. Kind of interesting to happy, Mr. I'll translate it myself, is using a fan translation of data before. And aspire to become Tsunade. And in the next panel, it states that she is still trying to catch up with Naruto and Sasuke. So in the day. Why does that mean that she hasn't surpassed Tsunade? He, he's like trying to use evidence from four years ago to say, like. Catch up with Naruto and Sasuke. She hasn't caught up to Tsunade. Can you move your fucking head, happy? This is also before they said that she, she caught up to both of them. Trying so, to yeah. catch up with Naruto. This isn't even the same. So in the dating books, no, so you may have seen posts like this claiming that Sakura 
is the strongest Konoichi. But there is actually no statement stating that. The data books don't say that. There's actually a statement that says Kuro, uh, Kurosuchi is the strongest Konoichi. That's fine. Otherwise, show me a page. Also, also, here's a statement saying that Sakura punches with unrivaled strength. Ding! There we go. Page number. It's such a so bird. did Sakura really surpass Tsunade? Yes. And even if she did, in the next video I might go over some of Tsunade's feats, and it doesn't put her past mountain level anyways. Do we really uh, want to like the last for part. part 7? I don't think he ever did one. He or does. It's probably not uploaded to his YouTube channel. Okay. Feats, because let's say Sakura is uh, equal what do you think he's gonna he's gonna say is Tsunade's best feat? Punching Madara. Or no, cracking the Susano. Cracking the Susano? I, I think so. I think so. Two or better than Tsunade. I'm gonna explain why it doesn't matter. First, Tsunade took down the rib cage. First of all, told you. First of told all, told you. This this Tsunade and this Sakura that you're trying to use are just not adult Tsunade and Sakura. The fact this, that he doesn't no, even mention Shin, this is the fact that tsunade. he doesn't even mention Shin is <laughs> absolutely deplorable. It's disgusting. Okay. Of a wood clone. Yeah. Wood clones are significantly weaker than their original body. See, Additionally, a perfect Sunade would go have back a, a full body. What? Uh, like right there. Go ahead. No, right, like twelve seconds. Right there. See, top left. It is adult Sunade, not kid Sunade. No, I'm saying that. He he's scaling adult Sakura and only like using teen Sakura feats. Okay, yeah. Well, you said a, it's not adult Sakura. Significantly either. weaker than their original body. Additionally, a perfect Susanoo would have a full body. Only having a part of the body of a Susanoo is also a weakened form of Susanoo. So, hmm. Uh -huh. I guess. It's a weakened Susanoo used by a weakened Madara. Second of all, she didn't do it alone. She had the other Kage's helper using fire jutsu. This is, water this jutsu, is a different um, scene. Boulder. How does this lateral of bolt of yes. pain chop? In oh, right there. See, Spencer. Fire... Adult Tsunade. Yeah, I know. You're in a In order to help her <laughs> to get there to kick the ribcage of a clone. Six if we include her first punch. So in answering the question, is Tsunade relative to this form of Madara? The answer is no. Okay. This means she does Happy. Her working in combination with other people is fine because you have established in no way that those other attacks weakened the integrity of the Susano. Which does not imply that they did at all. No. What, he literally like shows Mei just countering a fire style of Jutsu. He also says that one of Madara's Jutsu is like somebody helping out Tsunade. Water Jutsu. Um, Bargay's helper using fire Jutsu. Literally points to... Majestic Destroyer Flame. A jutsu we only know that Madara and Obito can do. No, only Madara. This is water jutsu. Um, boulder lateral of bolt of pain chop. In total, basically, boulder, boulder lateral bolt, bolt in order to chop. help her to get there. That is a stupid name for a fucking phone. jutsu. Six if we include her first Every phone. name, so in answering the every question, Raikage is jutsu. Tsunade relative to this form of Madara? The answer is no. And this means she doesn't scale to Sasuke and Naruto, and this means Sakura does not scale to them either. Sasuke and Naruto are stronger than Tsunade and Sakura. Okay. Yeah, if you ignore the data book statements, I mean, you spin. If, if you ignore the data book statements, or the Kagi feet, or literally anything else, yeah, sure, cool. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my, I'm gonna throw my hat into the ring, right? Because we've debunked all of his scaling. Let me give some counter scaling. One, I do not believe that you can, in any easily discernible way, scale these two characters from these two time periods to each other. I got it. How? Go I for got it. the way. No, no. Right. Scaling that we actually believe. Go for it. Why do we have to believe it? Oh, if we're not going to believe it, I'm just going to say Shin over Momo. Oh, well, that's going too far. <laughs> But look, 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 check me out. Hinata fought Momo and Ken, right? Who all the five Kage had to gather up to try to beat to all skill or soccer. Hinata got, like, one shot by Momo in the novel. Okay. Anyways, also, 
Talking about healing, you know who the fuck heals Hinata after she gets bitched by Momoshiki? Sakura, and it takes Sakura. her a long time. We actually don't know how long it took her. Well, Hinata was walking, and she wasn't doing well. All right. Here, here's what I'm going to say, right? Hinata has... Er, Sakura is stated to have unrivaled strength, right? This would scale her above... Or er, This is from two months after the last. We know that it's two months after the last because it's stated in the Sh Sakura novel that it has been two months since Naruto and Hinata started dating, right? They start dating after the last. Therefore, we know it's at least two months after the last. If she has unrivaled strength in her punches, that would mean it is unrivaled by the likes of Naruto, Hinata, Kakashi. These high tiers... Hinata that has dura neg. Huh? Hinata has durability negation. That's fine. What I'm saying is, a single punch from full power soccer would take this bitch's head off. Happy? That's unfounded. Happy. <laughs> Your videos have been incredibly misleading. I will debate you, since you've said you'll debate anyone on any calcs from novels, right? I'll debate you on my keto calc, right? On my three times faster than light soccer calc. Paz, is there anything you want to say in summation? Uh, Hoppy, I agree with you. You think the last soccer beats adult, or the last Hinata beats adult soccer? Easily. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not. Happy, the call out's here. I'm waiting on you. 